Okay, let's get started. Ogre Necromancer. It's uh, game number 15. Number 15 in the streak. And we'll see if we can't make this start work really uh, really well for us. And I think we can. Because, yeah, we have we have a, a spear and a small pillar to dance around. Really good start. Pick that up. We'll wear it. Would have been okay if it was cursed, but thankfully it's not. Grab the arrows. Well, the ogre is my spirit animal, Rogue Shenanigans. Got a scroll to start out, too. This is looking pretty good. Watch me find, like, a D1 adder now and die. Just try not to open doors. Okay, the kobold shouted. Let's pull him. Kill him with pain. Killing a single kobold takes you from three magic to four if you train nothing but spell casting. So, always train spell casting on an ogre book start, just a little bit at least. I'd be okay with a dart slug, that's not bad. Jackal could have owned me, but didn't. That's worrying. Do jackals always come in pack, or can they have singles? Because if they always come in packs, I should just stay away from this section of the floor. That's spooky as hell that we ran into a jackal almost immediately. Actually not sure if they always come in packs or not. I need I need that doesn't he? <laughs> He's the local local expert. Local streaker can't win without expert friend. Oh, the kobold. It's a sling. Um, let's take spellcasting a little bit higher, whatever it takes to get one more point. Okay, we, we got it, I think. Because we were at four, now we're at six. So we, we gained one point from leveling and one point from spellcasting. So now we'll train necromancy. Um, we're also level two, and you know what that means? I should have actually gotten enemy skeleton by now. Oops. Having a skeleton is really good. Having a skeleton is the difference between losing to jackals and not. Also confidently engage this guy. It is good for your bones. In fact, I'm gonna go open up this door With my little Skellington army, I feel real confident about a jackal pack. Hey, he had a potion. He had a potion and a scroll, and I killed him before he used either. I'd love to know something really scary, Adort. Is it that there's a skeleton inside me right now? I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. I'm spooked. I want to get off Mr. Bone's wild ride. Ah, it was more jackals, I was right. Okay, so we'll try to melee this guy. If it doesn't go well, I can always... You know, I'm going to have my friends deal with this. Have fun. They're getting owned, wow. Um. Um. Um, okay, I killed it, good. It's good intelligence. I didn't handle that quite right. I should have probably backed off immediately. Let's run away, let's get our hit points and stuff back. We're level three now, so we have Vamp Drain, that's huge. Streak over. I don't know about that. It could have happened, I guess. Yeah, being fat is very helpful in this game. I got a little overconfident and cocky with like three, four skeletons with me, you know? Alright, let's get that vamp drain. Suddenly, I feel real good about fighting adders if I need to. We'll also get regen.
Is this going to be an altar? No. So we have this sling. Perhaps I should actually... You know what? I don't care if it's cursed. I want to wear it. It is cursed. That's fine. Um, that's totally fine with me because we have 26 sling bullets and 42 stones. And, uh, you know, spells. Look how good it is. Even if it was like minus two, it would be good. And this lets us do a little damage from the edge of line of sight. It also lets us have a better chance of hitting things in a line. You know, I can shoot sort of behind something. And I may, I may very well train slings, you know, or just throwing. See, so look at this. I can queue up sling bullets and shoot behind. I mean, this is three things it has to go through. And then pain to finish it. That's not bad. All right, so bullet is the best level one spell. Yeah, Z Zarylus. Is that how you say that name? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Thanks for coming. Let's go down. Okay, we do have an adder. Can I kill him with pain, perhaps? And yeah, this sucks. Let's go to a different entrance. I wasn't about to let him get next to me. Clock a corpse. We can eat that. I mean, I could still probably Vampiric Drain those, uh, the Adder to death, but I might have to let myself get hit a couple times is the problem. Let's make some allies. Whoops. Walked a little bit too far. Reestablish distance. Let my buddies handle this. And then pain him to death. Very good. Necromancer is a really good start, um, primarily because you don't have to really worry about Adder's uh, evasion, which can totally end runs. You still have to worry about them resisting, but typically much less of an issue. just walk backwards. No need to take these big risks because you can get ambushed like so. Let's just pull this thing upstairs. It can do 12 damage to me. Not enough to kill me on the way up, you know, because I'm a big fat ogre. By the way, pain does pretty solid damage, actually. Not terrible, anyway. I just need to have the discipline to um, actually remember to animate. Because if I don't do that, I could end up with a real problem. Like, I need allies around me. Kiku? Maybe. Kiku is certainly a solid choice. It's, it's a likely choice, I guess. But it's not the only choice. We could go Gozag. I know it sounds weird on a Necromancer, but we could. Um... Okay, so here's a good example of having a, an ally. Look how helpful it is that I had an ally. I was able to establish some distance on account of having an ally, and if I hadn't, that could have been a lot more deadly. 
yeah, you can do infest with Gozag. You can uh, you can do haunt. You can just like straight up bolt of drain things. Found a book of cantrips. Confusing touch. Uh, summon small mammal. I mean, summon small mammal is a pretty fun find. Tempted to memorize it right now. That'll give us allies. Even if we don't have allies, you know, at any given time. Still training Necromancer. We're going to get it up to like 10 before we do off. Should do a, mu a money mummy run. It's pretty fun. I did a mummy of Gozag that did like a mega mega zig situation. I did a video on that. Actually, it's on YouTube if you'd like to see. It's a lot of fun. All right, so I didn't... Um, here's a big dummy move that I did. I forgot to check my scrolls at the end of D1. Although I think I didn't have two stacks at that point. Now I do, so let's use them. Okay, Amnesia... I don't want to forget anything, so forget that. Identify, good. We will identify the potions. We get heal wounds in the lig. Those are both amazing. Um, use this two stack. We have blink. I hate to waste a blink, but at least we have it identified. We're in a very good position now. Very good. Feeling hungry. Bro. Bro, it's a broad axe. I can't wear it. It's enchanted, though. It could very well be enchanted and not cursed. What if it's a broad axe of pain? Okay, I vamp touched him. Get some of my hit points back. Well, the plate armor is useless because we're a big fat ogre. But yeah, I mean that would have, this would be a great deep dwarf run, wouldn't it? Go mock. We're too fat for plate armor, man. Let's grab this uh, blowgun. I don't really anticipate using it, but maybe. Of course, we have the problem with this cursed hunting sling. Um, well, no, Firebench, sort of. It's from having big strength, it kind of helps. Fall through a shaft for two floors, we get Grinder. Fascinating. Well, I guess I'm really glad we have Lignification then. Let's step away from Grinder. Um, into this hallway. We'll wait. Grinder has haste, apparently. Go lignify. Shit! We actually can't take the sling the the sling off. I gotta try for a uh, remove curse. Because I'm not going to kill him with a with a sling. Fine. Fine. Noise. No. Remove curse. Okay. Punch. 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 Paralyze. Punch. Punch. It's just not working. Cast regen here. Punch. Uh, we'll wear the sling, since he's far away now. We could be using mammals, and maybe we will to get away from him. But for now, we just want to go for the kill. Give me the kill, dude. We 
have blinking. Like we can we can survive this. It's just going to be tough. Okay, he's he's almost dead. Regen. Well, tree used to do incredible damage. I just I don't know if they changed that or not. This is fine. All right. Scroll a blink. Yes, read it. Go over here. He blinked away. Boom. Okay. I fucking hate shafts, you guys. We have no ability to deal with what's down there. So win, lose, or draw, we're not coming back down. Not this staircase. We could have tried to finish him off. Yeah, goodbye resources, exactly. Um, I also could try this broad axe on, but I'm not really inclined to now because it could be cursed. And we've got a plus one hunting sling, which is pretty good. Um, let's rest. Just to keep away from doors because it makes a lot of noise. Easy monsters. Grinder was like one of the worst things we could have asked for because our spells don't do jack to him. And barring finding like a couple of ogre skeletons or something, we're really not going to be able to kill him with minions. Confusing touch would have been good. Actually, that would have been ideal. That would have... Let's memorize that. I should have memorized that. Because casting that in tree form, we could have put him, we could have confused him, and then he would have walked right towards us instead of trying to paralyze us. Part of the reason our tree form ended was that he paralyzed us. Let's throw in a Duvesa. Can't, we can't defeat Doan and Duvesa right now. Let me think about this. I really don't want to leave Doan. I don't want to kill Doan or Duvesa right now. Probably get away with Summon Small Mammal. But I'm running into the black is the problem. She's still coming? Yeah, she is. Perfect. Dispersal trap actually does something good for me. Let's get the hell out of here. No, no, she's chasing still. She's the goddamn Terminator. Here's a potion. Here's a staircase. And that is the... Um, that, that is the temple, I think. Kill the orc. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to D3. The place where we got shafted. Thanks to Ebering. Found a Vehumet altar. We're badly in need of some help for these next couple of floors, but Vehumet is not really going to help us for a good long while if we were to worship him. Also, Vehumet is a completely and totally dog shit god. You really probably don't want to worship him. Scroll of Enchant Weapon. God, I want to try this broad axe. I'm going to do it. It's a plus three broad axe. Okay. We'll enchant it up. Would have preferred a brand, but this is pretty good.
am tempted to just be like an axe man, but it's it's kind of silly with a with a robe on. But we got an excellent weapon, okay? So that's we can at least swing with this and and make some kind of magic happen, even though it's a bit slow. Hmm. Let's go up. We get confused. The confuse will end. He can't kill us. He can only do nine damage. There we go. Let's vamp drain him to death. I knew that getting confused there was possible, but we have the we have the heal wound potion and maybe even a cure potion if that's what that unidentified one is. So I probably wasn't wasn't as worried as I should have been. Uh oh, Devessa's here. She will not follow us because she's not with her bro. Okay. We know he is the confuse. Well, maybe this is a different wizard. Damn, touch him to death, get intelligence, not bad, not bad. We will enchant armor on the robe. Normally I would not enchant a body armor like that, but this character is... Well, he's got his work cut out for him. Got a fun couple of floors here. Can I kill the bullfrog? Um, I think so. Potions, good. Finding resources is nice. Hello, Temple. And we found a three stack of Identify, that's huge. Um, let's try an amulet. It's Faith. Um, that That is an interesting thing to find. Um, right off the bat. That kind of informs us on which god we might want to go for. One that likes Faith. We could actually... Um, Oh man, that's there's a lot of fun stuff we could do. For a lot of fun, we could go Usk again. Faith is actually incredible on him. We could go Gozag for. Well, because Gozag's good, although he doesn't get anything from Faith. Let's um. Identify this potion. Okay. So no curing. That's good to know. Let me think about this. What are my options? Retinol is a good pick with Faith. Uskawa is a good pick with Faith. Um, Sif Moon is okay, but it's still Sif. Huh. No, no, I see. We're not um, we're not worshiping the same god as the Streaks. That 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 sort of you know, if it was the same seed, maybe, but seeds didn't exist back then. The thing is that. Uh, that's too much of a tactical decision, strategic strategic level decision, actually. Um, you know, it's affected by what I find in the game, so I don't think it would be a very fair um, restriction to put on myself. Hmm. Gosh, we could we could go Zen. I know it sounds weird, but if I had piety super fast with Zen, then then so, well, wait, no, that's retarded. I'm. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, never mind. I'm a necromancer. What am I doing? What am I saying? If it was not a necromancer, Zen might make sense with faith because I could, like, lock things up with, uh, silver, silver prison or whatever. Um, as often as I want to for the most part. And we would get to that point super fast with faith. But yeah, he's not going to like my necromancy, so we're not doing that. Likewise, Trog wouldn't like my necromancy, so we're not doing that. Ureta Mule? Yeah, Ureta is actually a pretty decent choice, even as a necromancer. Although he doesn't give me much help off the bat, and I know, I know that what's his face is here, um, the you know Mister, Mister Jackass, the uh, the Shadow Imp. So I need help like right now. I think we're probably gonna go go Zag because I, I don't know. Let me think about this. I can't. 
I can't animate skeleton anymore if I move into Gozag. No, we're not going to go Zom. <laughs> it's not happening. Gosh, I'm tempted to go Hepleocana. Um, hmm. Faith doesn't really help you that much with Hepleocana, though. I'm pretty sure that the class only happens, you know, the class of your ally only happens. Not piety based, but level based. I could be wrong about that. We could we could look. Yeah, cost instance. Uh, well, maybe you do have to have a certain amount of piety. Remember their ancestors' identity. I think that's automatic, though. I think I think no matter what piety you have, is if you have enough levels. Yeah, I mean, actually, you know what's funny is we have two amulets of faith. We go like 14 games without finding a single one, and then suddenly we find two pre pre temple. That's hilarious. It's really funny, anyway. It's probably going to be probably going to be Gozag just just because of the fact that grinders right there. Having the potion petition is going to be handy. Um. And the thing is, Kiku's not here. If Kiku was here, we'd probably go for that, because then Faith would let us get our gifts really, really quickly, and that would be pretty sweet. But sadly, he's just not here. Um, it's really a rough decision, to be honest. Normally, it would be a really e it would be like a fun decision if if I didn't know Grinder was waiting for me, and uh, Doan and Devesa, for that matter. But we have a hard enough early dungeon that. Uh, Seems like we need the help, you know. Hmm. It is kind of weird to go Gozag though, in general, on a on a necromancer <laughs> with no corpses. Well, weirdly enough, a necromancer really doesn't need corpses in this game unless they're going Kiku style. I mean, Haunt's really powerful, Infest is really powerful, Bolt, Bolt of Draining for that matter is really powerful. But I, I can, I mean, the other thing is I have a summon already is the thing. I have uh, small mammals, so part of the benefit of, of, of going necro is uh, gone. You know, huh. I'm doing it. I'm going Hepley Aquana. This will be okay. This will give me an ally all the time. Put the amulet on. Um... Ancestor identity. What what should our what should our ancestor's name be? Uh, Rosecrypto.com. How about that? He's all man. There's a little bit of hit points from using this guy, but we can walk backwards through him. I know we already have summons and things, but I feel a lot more comfortable with my friend here. Skeleton's nice and powerful. Here we go. Oops, that's a that's the forty percent confused wizard. Um, let's take a step so he can't confuse me. Let's um, summon small mammal. Summon small mammal. Pain this thing. Order all my dudes to wreck his face. Make a skeleton even. <sighs> of course he goes invisible, but that's okay because rosecrypto.com can see invisible. Oh wait, no, he's, is he dead? You feel a bit more experience. Oh, rosecrypto.com already killed him for me. Good job, rosecrypto.com. Okay, um, I actually do not want to kill Devesa. I tell ya, you really want to kill Doan first. And now we can do that. Well, maybe. Where'd he go?
they're separated. There he is. He's got throw flame and throw frost, so he can do a good solid little bit of damage to you. Let's get him with the confusing touch. Did we confuse him? Yeah, we did. Killed him. Truly the crypto hero we need. <laughs> you can see traps in value where others cannot. It's true. He took the traps and doors skill. He'll never be bogged. All right, so now Duvess is real mad, right? She's, she's not happy about the situation. You've, you've really messed her world up. She's going to rage, you know. Whoops, I did not mean to walk like that. She's going to rage out. And even with Heplia Kwana's uh, friendly, friendly help, our ancestor here, I'm not particularly inclined to fight. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Come down the staircase and she's right here. Dude, we could die here from this. I'm going to use agility right off. I'm going to use... Um... Oh man, that sucks. So the whole idea was to get to a staircase that she wasn't at. And she just happened to be at this exact one. Um, like literally right, right next to me. But if you could get her at a staircase that's, um, you know, but like not, not right next to you, she zerks, you go up, you go to a different staircase, she only zerks the one time. So you, she uses up her berserk and then she's safe to fight again. This particular Duvessa has a freaking large shield, so she's going to be even harder to kill. Um, I guess we could vamp drain her to death. Let's make an ally... Let's make another ally. Okay, I walked backwards. Am I lagging? Yeah, I'm lagging. Walk away. Where are we going? I want to get to the staircase probably, but there's probably stuff in the way. This is rough. We could also confusing touch her, but this is new style confuse, so taking a lot of damage already. Of course we do have we do have vamp drain. So it totally is an option to try to just melee her, although it's a pretty stupid one. Um I could read a scroll, it could be Tella, that would save me. Um why don't we do that? It's M.O. Okay, this is okay. This is okay, actually. It doesn't kill her. Shocking. Okay. Um, we can't survive an explosion, so I can't kill her even if I want to. Well, what we could do is we could, like, pain her and maybe she would die from the clouds combined with the pain. Gosh, why did that have to be MO? Knew I should have gone Gozag. Big mistake, you guys. What could this potion be? Gosh, if it's haste, we, we're okay. You know? If it's ambrosia, we're screwed. If it's zerk, we're screwed. Well, zerk, we could probably... might be able to survive. Um...
Hmm. I kind of want to think this through. How long... How long does Monster Berserk last? Maybe I can look this up. This is all about Player Berserk. I don't care about that. It's probably not even in there. It lasts a really goddamn long time, like a really, really long time. Um, for monsters, it doesn't seem to be predicated upon whether they're swinging or not like it is for a player. It just kind of lasts for a long time. Let's see, we have Agi, but it's not that good. How many hit points does she have? 36. Cloud of Fire. Um, fire Cloud. Flame Cloud. Yeah, the explosion would kill me if it was next to me. I want to know how much um, how much cloud damage is. Six to twenty-one damage of monster, so it could kill her right out. I think. Fire, force, fire, cold, holy flames, acid, negative. 10 to 32 if you're a player, 6 to 21 if monster. So, so with slightly good rolls, I mean, she's already half dead. So pain plus the clouds, she'll be in the clouds for at least one more turn. Um, I don't know exactly how the damage works, if she'll get tagged in it twice as she's leaving. Probably, probably won't get tagged twice, actually. How much does the ammo explosion do? How about that? Can I actually survive that if I were to... Tiny monsters deal 3d15. Giant deal 3d25. <sighs> Freaking others deal 3d20. So we probably wouldn't live if we were caught in the explosion. I think we have to pain. I think we have to actually go for it. Or we could summon small mammals and try to like stall her. I mean, really we only have two options. One is to summon small mammals and try to stall her, and if, in, in, in the absolute ideal, you know, completely un, unlikely situation um, that would be ideal would, would be to, um, you know, we summon small mammals and then they conveniently sort of keep her in the flame and she dies, okay, fine, great. Realistically, that's not going to happen. Realistically, I'm going to get, like, not even a bat, but like a, a quokka, or so not even a quokka, like a, uh, I don't know, a rat. We're going to get, like, a rat in the absolute worst tile, like, up and to the right of me, um, and then it's going to be totally useless, and then she'll just probably not even not even be able to be in the right position for it to block her especially not to keep her in the flames so oh, let's see how much damage pain does how about that one d four plus power divided by five so we have survey says full power four pips um, so that represents how much exactly there's a there's a list here somewhere. I have at least 25 spell power. 4 plus 25 divided by 5 is, is 9. 1d9 damage. 1d9 damage. So that means... Oops. 36 hit points. She's at about, let's say, 15 hit points. About half, a little more than half, so it's probably more like she's at 20 hit points. She'll probably die if I pain. We're doing pain. Pain again. Boom, she's dead. That was the move. I think that was the right move. I don't think that was luck. I think that was 
the proper thing to do. I will say that I messed up there insofar as I should not, probably, I should probably not have gone down the other staircase because I knew that was a risk. I just figured it was pretty unlikely. Um, you know, um, what I should have done is just walked around this floor with like three mammals around me and as many skeletons as I can handle if I found any corpses. Um, and then just like walked around the floor like that, ideally really close to a staircase near hallways and stuff, block her ass off when I see her, go to the staircase and go up. Also could have just waited at a staircase a lot. Um, that would kind of mess with my piety though. I don't know. We survived it. I think I made the right choice overall. Let's uh, grab these two shields. There's actually a shield and a large shield. We're going to be using uh, one and then the other. In fact, we're going to go ahead and start training shields right now. Stuff is not particularly castable um, with the shield on. We only need to get it to 9 though, so let's work on that right now. Shields are one of the most important things you can get on a on an ogre. We survived, boys and girls. Alright. Um, no grinders here. Let's walk around with allies. Let's be real smart about this. We've also found a bunch of stuff. Um, we could enchant up these shields, but let's not do that just yet, since we're not even using them yet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pop the shield on for the purposes of this floor, because it's not like I can vamp drain him anyway. Uh, well, actually, I can't summon small mammal if I have it on. And it's not like the shield does anything for me if I'm paralyzed. There's grinder, let's go up. What's this about the space race? If you roll enough 99% chances, you're going to eventually lose one. That's true. That's absolutely true. That's a good lesson. Honestly, man, like, I might just skip this stupid ass floor. Phantom's okay to kill, though. I wish I remembered um, when you get your Ancestor um, to level up. Okay, how about, how about some damage? Let's pull them up. We call Ancestor Regen. That's important. Now I can fight this thing. There we go. From the floor where I don't have to worry about Grinder just popping in and saying what's up, you know? Grinder the love machine. Uh, you could call him that, I suppose. We have some good weapons, man. He could have confused. That sucks. We'll go down anyway. What's this brand crushing? Kill his friends. He's got invisible. If, got, if he's got invisible, that doesn't necessarily reveal which guy he is. Let's let my ally... This is one of the most fun things about having um, a Heppel buddy, is that he can see invisible. So kind of that, in fact. And also, um, I can just pain. You know? So invisible wizards really don't actually scare me that much at all. 
Okay, we just found we just found remove curse. Let's go up. That was remove curse, right? Yeah, it was. Let's go up and let's wear some rings. Pro magic, that's huge. That's huge. And magical power, that's huge as well. All right, I feel much less scared by grinder. Still scared, mind you, because the paralyze is still 17%. But she's gonna have a rough, uh, a rougher time spam paralyzing me, which is uh, certainly an improvement. Glowing helmet that our, our head is just too fat, too fat to wear that. I'm going to risk running over here. We have a scroll of blinking now. Well, they kind of tell you where the invis monster is. Oh, shit. Why did I walk in here? All right, hold on. Hold on. That's terrible. Why is there a D5 moccasin? This game sucks. <laughs> this particular game is miserable. Uh, wow, I was not expecting D5 mocks, and I just kind of like scroll, strolled in there. I took one step faster, one step more than I should have. How many hit points does he have? 27. Painting him to death is going to be kind of hard. I will blink if I have to. You hit me. I vamp touch. I vamp touch. I vamp touch. I get the kill. Now we're out. I could regen, but I, it's just using up mana at this point. We killed one of them. We have heal wounds. Yeah, there's two. That's the thing. Yeah, water moccasin on D, D5. It's pretty outrageous. I'm certain this is a stupid Nidne Vault. I guarantee it. Unbelievable. We probably have curing. God, he's blinking. Don't have curing. Okay, we can do this though. And we can keep summoning small mammals for, not forever, but perhaps long enough, as long as we don't get ambushed. I think, I think another one. Thank God for Quokkas. Come on, no, no enemies, no enemies. Get me to the door. Yeah, buddy. Call ancestor, close the door. Go to the shop, the Quanat's Serpent Skin Sales. I guess we get rewarded with a Swamp Dragon Scale for that. We got the Compendium of Dozen Tea. Some nice poison tea, uh, poison tea. <laughs> Just screwing around now, some nice poison spells. Uh, it's fair, so why complain? I disagree entirely. Can't even afford that book. Actually, I guess I don't really want anything in here except for Meth Cloud. I probably want the generic Swamp Dragon scales more. Aroba Poison Resistance. We'll, we'll buy that right now. That could potentially help me a lot. And you know what? We're having such a hard time, we're going to enchant it up. And we're going to wear the shield. If we'd had the shield on, we would have had a much better time as well. Poison tea sounds like an actual ability. Yeah, it's like the goblin poisons your tea. You think he's a nice goblin servant, but it turns out he's out to get you. Okay. So, outside of the fact that D5 moccasins are, are hilariously broken, um, we also have Grinder here. I think this floor is dumb enough that we should just leave, you know? What do you guys think? I 
thankfully we're a necromancer, so we have the power of, uh, you know, vamp train behind us. I'll tell you what I really want. What I really, really want is I want my Heppel Ancestor to level up. Okay, we've come down here. Uh, no real reason to force a floor. No, there's really not. Can I kill this thing reliably? We have a shield on. I don't even want to leave the corpse. Or sorry, I don't want to leave the staircase to get the corpse. Let's just pain him. We could take big damage, but I can just walk away. Okay, I walk away. I'll make the. I'll, I'll do this, I guess. I'll regen. I wanted to take like a little bit of damage, but not go into one shot zone. Um, but GSC does. What is it? Twenty damage? Twenty two. Twenty two. Giant. It's spiked. So, yeah, twenty two damage. So he actually took me down into one shot territory. I wanted him to take me down to like forty, you know, so I could just finish him off with a vamp drain. But now it's suicidal uh, potentially to to stay in combat with him since he could do a good thirty nine damage, and I only have thirty one hit points. But we'll just paint him to death. He goes down. I'm gonna magic map this floor. There is a sewer, and I gotta tell you, finding a sewer, if we could actually do it, if we could finish it up, oh buddy, um, wouldn't that be nice? Is there a way to show spell damage offline? Uh, you have to use an info bot, unfortunately. That's something that I'll be fixing in my fork of this game. Well, doesn't he, I think, is gonna take the lead on that. It's very dumb that that's not visible. Resistance. Resistance is a good potion to have. Or plate armor, haha. -ha. And imagine if we had sticks to snakes, how nice that would be. By the way, we're level eight. I thought it happened at level seven. So I guess I guess we don't have our ancestor for a little while yet. Maybe it's nine. I can hold out hope. Nothing to identify, sadly. All right, not bad. This floor has been a lot more forgiving. Watch Pergy be in here. Although he would be pretty easy to kill, to be honest. Crypto crawl? No, no, just crawl. Nice, we're getting a we're getting a huge pile of corpses. This is good. If things go badly in here, I have a lot of buddies to walk backwards through. They won't last forever, but probably long enough for me to finish this place if I don't rest. Looks like we got the super easy sewer, though. We were due for some good luck. Freaking D5 moccasins. All right. So like I said, this is um, an enormous boon. We just got a, a huge number of resources out of this. Sewers are always very good to, to, to find if you can win them. We have Might, we have Haste, we have Curing, we have three Heal Wounds, oh my god. 
What a what a feast. What a feast of heal wounds. Have a resistance even. Um, blinking, best resource in the game. Um, yeah, that's that's great. How many shields do I need to, to use a large shield? 15? Probably end up in that, so I'm, I'm not going to use my enchant armor on that. I am going to save my money for that swamp dragon scale, though. We'll probably end up in that. Or maybe. Maybe we'll end up in stat form like everybody enjoys. You know, I gotta say, like, I was not expecting this game, this particular combo, to be troublesome. You know? Um, and, and hard games can sneak up on you if you just get the right configuration of stuff. Now, part of the problem is that I'm kind of showboating a little bit and going Hefley Aquana because I figure people don't necessarily want to see Gozag every single time. Um... But, I mean, I, I don't know how much Gozag necessarily would have helped me out of those situations. Maybe. It really depends on what potion petition I got. Any large rocks yet? Nope. This crypto.com is actually starting to pull his weight. What you're saying is you should go zag instead of go zig. Yeah, pretty much. That's a floor. We'll probably go back to D5 and kill Grinder once we uh, once once we get the ancestor power. Absolutely fine with letting allies kill the stupid hungry ghost. I refuse to be starved to death. <laughs> Alright, let's get intelligence. Rose Crypto remembers more of his old skill, but not enough to actually have a class. Does anybody know what level it takes for them to... I know it's not a piety thing. It's it's 100% a level thing. Maybe it's level 10? You, oh, wait, wait. It is partially a piety thing. You've got to have... Huh. Maybe it's entirely a piety thing. Okay. Well, I'll take it. Faith helped. Because it was certainly not just level, because I just explored and got a little more piety, and then boom, you can remember your ancestor's life. What shall we take, guys? Knight, Battle Mage, Hexer? Any requests? I feel like Hexer is always the best. In fact, I think we're... I think we're going to go Hexer, probably. Yeah, we will go Hexer. It's, um, it is so. All right, so he's stuck as a Hexer forever. He's got slow and confused. Hungry Ghosts are just sort of obnoxious. Like, you can... Uh, they're probably not going to starve you to death, but yeah, they can, they can make... If you get really sparse rations, they can make the game obnoxious, especially if you're using up spell hunger a lot on spells and things. Um, it can be an issue. Alright, I feel pretty confident about killing Grinder with the help of my buddy here. <laughs> There's our moccasin friend. I guess the Hexer is actually a lot worse than he used to be on account of the fact that uh, Confuse got nerfed. But he's still pretty good. And here we go.
That's right. That's right. Enjoy being slowed and confused, you ass. <laughs> Almost ruined my run. <laughs> Grinder dies. Dead dead to a bat too. What a what a shameful death for Grinder. Fall through a shaft for two floors. I swear to god this game is just memeing me at this point. We have magic mapping. We're gonna well, we're not gonna use it. We've been shafted to this floor before. Come to think of it, we got shafted from D5 to D7 twice now. Outrageous. I'd, I'd like to file a complaint <laughs> with somebody. I don't know who exactly, but someone. Someone needs to be complained to over this. Okay. Take this potion. We have, I mean, on the other hand, we have five potions of heal wounds, so we'll be okay. There's my Kiku altar. Too late for that. And there's an upstairs. And our D6 is totally clear. Honestly, I, I hope I get shafted again from D5 to D7. Why not? Use up all my shafts. Let's fight him on a staircase, yeah? Because otherwise he's just going to have all this crap. At least fight him near a staircase. Yeah, he's confused. Good. Now we can just kill him. Nice. Okay. All right, don't just shoot through my, through my bro here. <laughs> That's just cheating. All right, shields is now nine point one. I don't know. What do you think? Should I just should I just train shields up? You know what I've screwed up is I I haven't been training fighting at all. I could have so much more in the way of hit points. What am I doing? I kill one orc. <laughs> well, okay, I was expecting to see a hit point go up from that. Plus three aptitude is kind of outrageous. Not gonna lie. We actually have less hit points than we should. There we go. Two, two fighting levels and like five hit points from killing one phantom. Plus three aptitude is really good. I think we're out of the um, frying pan, so to speak. Remains to be seen if we're going to arrive at the fire. Okay. This is okay. We have the right we have the right tools to kill these. Pain and vamp touch really make bees into a no, I wouldn't say a joke. Like if there's enough of them, trust me, they'll find a way to ruin your day. But um, if you're in a hallway, you're good. If there's only a few of them, you're good. By the way, we just found a net. That's nice. Okay, we have removed curse. Let's try on some of these rings. Plus one ring of protection. That's not good enough. Ring of sin. That's a good swap. I want to have this ring of magical power, though. Having that much mana is just hugely good. Happy to let my ally kill these things, because unlike regular allies, um, this dude this dude gives me experience. He doesn't take my experience. 
get 100% experience. That's the price. That's the reason you pay the price of the hit points. Although I don't think that's really necessary. <laughs> but that's why Pleasing Fungus added that. For some reason he didn't like the idea that you get full experience from the ally, so he made you pay a, a hit point uh, price for it. Just let my ally deal with this. Let's identify these. Um, well, I'm going to identify the two stack. I figured it was teleport, and to be honest, I just I want to have a lot of teleport. I didn't want to have to waste one. Three scrolls of enchant armor. Look at all this hit points we have. He'd have to hit us three times at max damage to kill us, even, in, even being an ogre, you know? And us having no AC. Quite nice. Suppose I could start training some invocations, and in fact I should for transference. Why don't we do that? Take it to like five or something. Couldn't hurt. It's kind of like having a sea blink, you know. You use it properly anyway. All right, necrophage, a great example of where your ally can just take care of a really unfortunate problem for you. Not sure if you can hear that, that's my stomach rumbling. I might actually get off stream soon so I can eat something. It's that uh, Japanese bad omen again, as I was told in my last stream. I think we've done a Hebel game in a really long time, certainly not in this streak. I don't know how much use we're going to get out of him. I mean, he'll be alright. At level 27, he becomes truly amazing. Because, especially with the Hexer, because the Hexer gets an anti-magic weapon. And having an anti-magic weapon on a, on a bro that's just, he's just there all the time, it's pretty insanely good, I have to say. Probably going to cut this video as soon as we get to Lair. So a very hard start, but I feel good about the character now. After, after those first couple sort of nightmare floors, the character is really coming into his own. That's one of the cool things about Heppel, is he very, he very quickly puts you in that situation. where your character can just kind of handle it. It's an electric sword. Okay, there we go. Hits me for big damage, that's fine. I just vamp touch him. Might even take the falchion of electrocution. Lair's probably on this floor. Considering there's a X. Should 
probably go ahead and train some broad axis, but I don't know. Hey, scroll of acquirement. I got some fun options now. Shops always present really fun options when, when you find a lot of them early on. Um, so now we've got this sort of interesting choice where we could go ahead and buy these tellies, which are nice to have. Or we could buy some enchant armor and possibly wear the big boy shield. Um, well, hold on, let's, let's identify this scroll. Nope, not acquirement, could have acquired gold perhaps. Ambrosia, alright. So anyway, um, yeah, this, this acquirement, uh, that's an interesting choice. We could save for that. We could get the tellies now, we could get the enchant armor and just wear the big shield. Or we could just keep saving for the swamp dragon scales, which is honestly what I'm inclined to do. Like, I'm picturing this guy becoming sort of a um, just axe dragon armor type dude. Um, not, not particularly tanky, but sort of tanky. It's kind of a hybrid. Or a gish, if you prefer. Hungry ghost hits me, huh? Well, we just found a lignification. That's cool. We also found wand of enslavement, so that means it's time to train some Evo. At least a five. Minus two aptitude sucks, but what are you going to do? I see we actually did not find the lair. Uh-oh. Hi, guys. God damn. Not, did we have 98 hit points? It's not possible. We had to have been a little bit hurt because we're at 60 now. That would mean that he did 38 damage, which is four more than he's supposed to be able to do. I must have taken some some damage. Yeah, he had hit me before. Let's just leave these guys on a nice merry chase. I know my ally can kill them. In fact, why don't we just recall him? Or he can just sort of show up in the dumbest possible spot. There we go. Come on, use your powers, bro. This crypto.com is destroyed. All right, we'll eat a ration. We'll go up. We'll hunt those jerks down. Vamp touch him to death. Most living things you can just sort of vamp touch to death. Not hydras, because they can over over damage you, you know, really, really easily to the point where they could one-shot you as, a, as an ogre, especially. Um, but most stuff, if it can't one-shot you, you can probably vamp touch it down. Certain things, of course, you got to be careful about. Okay, hey, let's go down a staircase that's perhaps a little less crowded. There's the lair. Okay, let's pull the ghost up. Wait for my friend rosecrypto.com to show up. Come on, buddy. You know you want to. There we go. He's not casting anything. <laughs> Stunned. I'm stunned that he's not doing anything. There we go, finally.
Oh boy, let's go up. This is too much stuff. Wow. Well, I guess the only staircase that doesn't suck is this one. Just a bear here. Oh, and a dragon. Casual dragon. They have touched him to death. Sadly, no scales. To be honest, I think I would want the... Um, I want the Arpoise more. Thoughts on Ogre's post rework. Um, so significant. Let's see. What would I? What would I say? Um, significantly worse and less interesting. Yeah. Um, Ogres used to have maces uh, at like plus three, and it was a lot more interesting, you know, and now they're just sort of the everything man, like every other species, you know, which is sort of, sort of unfortunate. If hunger was removed, would it do anything to game balance? Absolutely. Um, it would do, um, well, it depends on how tedious you wanted to play, but basically it would suddenly technically become optimal to just stand at a staircase for a really long time. Okay, we're going to go up. I'm trying to run Joseph uh, out of bullets. Spell or berserk spam? Um, spell, spell spam for now. Oh, you're talking about, sorry, I, th I thought you were asking me about this character. Yeah, I mean, sure, the hunger would also affect abilities that had hunger costs. I, I was less thinking of that and more thinking of, like, broad strokes of how people would maneuver around the dungeon, you know? Because if you just, like, stand on one staircase, um, you know, right now you can't do that because you run out of, uh, uh, you know, food, but, like, Waiting for things to come to you so you have a staircase to retreat to is, is quite nice. Yeah, mummies and vamps can already do that, and that's one of the benefits of playing them, but they come with hilarious downsides, you know, especially, you know, significant downsides like, uh, like mummies. I mean, mummies have certainly more, more significantly bad uh, downsides than vampires, but vampires come with their own downsides. Although less, less so now that Ebering has done his sort of abomination of a two-state vampire system to them. Total, total disaster, really. <laughs> of course, that's, that's what happens when you refuse to listen to this player base, player base about your ideas. You end up making something really goofy. They're magical? You like them? Oh, you mean mummies. Um, well, actually, Randy Day tomorrow, we, we do know how they'll be because he was, uh, there was a test, there was a testing, um, as far as I know, they're in their finalized state right now, maybe not, but they, um, I played the testing branch, you know, and they went through a few different iterations, but overall, the idea just doesn't really work, at least in my opinion. Um, let's go up. We drew a few more things to me than I had wanted. I'm going into a hallway. I know it's faster than me. That's fine. Um, we have enslavement if need be, but perhaps... Oh, man. Okay, we'll enslave. I thought perhaps I could vamp touch him to death. Just wasn't in the cards, so to speak. But yeah, I mean, certainly two-state vampires could have been worse. Um, one of the iterations had this wacky thing in it where you took permanent hit point damage. <laughs> like hit point, like maximum hit point damage if you swapped between um, between states, which was just totally insane. Um, so that's out at least. But just the idea of, well, first of all, thematically it doesn't make a lot of sense. 
I mean, vampires in any kind of lore I've ever read don't have the convenient ability to just go alive or or dead any time they want to. Like, it, that's kind of a minor gripe because fluff doesn't matter, but it's enough to annoy me, <laughs> I guess. Um, but mechanically speaking, it, I don't know. Suddenly, suddenly you've created a, just another species with. Uh, effectively endless uh, no no food count and uh just significantly less downsides to being a mummy like i don't understand why you would play a mummy at this point like the design space has been thoroughly encroached upon you know still bad aptitude well better than mummy better aptitudes than mummy for the most part possibly completely Okay, he's still got stones. Proscrypto.com bites it. That's a low bar. Well, sure, it's a low bar, which is why you should pay extra attention to, like, are, are you completely and totally annihilating Mummy's design space? I mean, is it just a challenge race now? It always kind of was, but, I mean, I like it when the species have unique things about them. You know, and m one of the things that made Mummy the most interesting was that it was the only species you could play that um, fully and totally could be played without a turn turn clock. Uh, now, va vampires certainly could avoid the turn clock, but they stopped regenerating. So if you tried to if you tried to cheese it particularly hard, um, you know, you better have a way of you essentially turn yourself into a really crappy deep dwarf. So you better have a way of getting around that, and there are ways. Was Mummy ever not a challenge race? Yeah, but that's not all it was, is what I'm trying to say. There was there was a unique aspect to them that's now fallen by the wayside, so to speak. Looks like he's out of ranged attacks. Stamp train him to finish him off. I'm going to train dodging just a little bit. Um, necro up to 8, because I really hate seeing not round numbers. We'll turn shields on. Ho ho ho, baby, baby, baby. Hello, hunting sling of flaming. I'll take that. Wow, another large shield. That's hilarious. Title is inaccurate. Oh, yeah, it says game number 14, doesn't it? Uh, D-R-A-R, my bad. I'm about to end the stream, but, I mean, at least I have the right game on there. You're right, though, that should say, um, Ogre, uh, Ogre Necromancer, game 15. Basically, we finished, and we finished the, um, the Draconian, then I went right into this. Let's try the Staff on. Staff of Fire. All right, we have a swap for RF+, plus, I guess. Man, all this direct damage from necromancy is a lot of fun. Okay, Fanor we might have to get a little clever with, or at least reset the fight a few times. He can do some very serious buku damage to me here. When is Hep ever good? Uh, never really. I mean, he's... Okay, Hep is always good. Hep is a very powerful god. Um, but he's never going to be the best, really. Oh, hey, we do have a pro cold. I just kind of picked him because I found a faith amulet. Okay, we'll start vamp touching him. Got him. But yeah, I mean, I had just finished playing an Usk game, um, and so I didn't want to play Usk again, even though I found Faith. 
So it's kind of more just for show, which I shouldn't have done. We, in fact, had some really rough situations in the early game because of that choice. Um, certainly was not the optimal thing to do. Wow, we have two pro magics. That's amazing. Um, I think I am going to stick with magical power, though, just because having tons of mana on a necromancer especially is nice. But yeah, I should have gone Gozag or something. But I mean, Hep is, Hep is a lot of fun. Hep is powerful. Like, he can single-handedly win the game for you, really. Uh, or get you to the point where you can win the game. He's a little tedious. But overall, he's, he's not bad. How much damage can you do? Uh, 15 plus 20, 35. I should have this memorized by now. 35 plus 22 from the Giant Spiked Club is 57. 57 plus how much from the Dire Flail? 57 plus 13 is a 70. He cannot kill me in one shot. Bam touch, bam touch, bam touch. Nice. That was okay. This is the first Heppel of the uh, of the streak. I'm not a big fan of Heppel. I mean, people talk a lot about how she really does provide you with a path to victory, and she does. I'm not even going to argue. You know, she provides you with a really straightforward and consistent path to victory. That, in my book, makes her an excellent god, especially with the fact that she gives you a small but noticeable power boost right as soon as you worship her. Having an ally to run through, awesome. Um, wow, Firebench, that's really cool. Why are you, uh, why are you on my Twitch, uh, <laughs> if, you, if you think that about my content? What are you doing here? Um, seems kind of odd. Apple doesn't save you when you're in a, a bad state. Kinda. Transference is sort of like a C blink, which is as I as I usually say, like like C blink is um generally considered, I would say, like the best escape in the game. Um I mean you can you can go from point A to point B instantly. And if you if you do that, um if your hexer happens to be well not your hexer, if your ancestor happens to be in the right spot. Um, you can really get away. Or you could you can actually trade not just yourself with your ancestor, you can trade enemies with your ancestor. So you can do really interesting stuff with that um, to, to escape um, you know, bad situations or to set up uh, situations better for yourself. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that Heppel doesn't save you when you're in a bad state. Um, I would say she's not very good at doing it. She's, she's about as, as good at saving you when you're in a bad state as Usk which is, like, not really, unless you set it up perfectly. Um, like, you can you can explode your way out of a fight with Usk. It's kind of the same thing, I think, except a, more, more, a little bit more reliable, I guess, with the Ancestor, um, because you can sort of, sort of do it any time you want to, as long as the Hexers or the Ancestor's in the right spot. Um, I mean, hey, uh, you're welcome to make me a channel banner on YouTube. I wouldn't even argue that that doesn't suck. I just kind of made that in, in a couple minutes. Um, I mean, I don't know. That just seems like a bunch of bunch of insults to me, almost. I mean, I, I'm fine with criticism, but Jesus. Um, I mean, I'm not really trying to stream to like literally defend everything that I'm doing uh, on the spot live. I mean, it seems like... You're the guy who, yo, you're the guy who sent me that, like, 17 paragraphs on Reddit and then deleted your account, right? This is the same, this is the exact same criticism. You're that guy, right? This dude sent me, like, 10 paragraphs the other day and then deleted his Reddit account, and it was, like, these exact same things. Actually, come to think of it, you mentioned, um, Mummy Hunters there, too. I mean, yes, I, I do use GIMP. That doesn't make me good at art. So Edort, tell me more about this background color you want on my on my website. Is it just because it's it's white and burns your eyeballs? I mean, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I have a computer science background. Um, that might tell you a little bit about my thought process, which is that aesthetics are are not my strong suit at all. Um, 
which is not to say I'm not interested in it. I would like to make things look better. I just, I think I need a little bit of help. Um, I mean, I know enough to go and plug colors into like a color wheel and figure out which things are complementary in different ways. Like I can do it in a scientific kind of way, but if you had me look, if you had me actually like look at something, I can't tell you if it looks good or bad. It loads my chrome.css background color, so I assume there's... Oh, really? It's supposed to be white. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, thank you for the heads up on that. I'll, I'll see if I can fix, fix that. That's just a quick fix in the CSS. That's kind of bizarre that that's not there. It's weird that I hadn't noticed that before, actually. So I assume your chrome.css background color for you is like a dark a dark color and you're just like getting a blank screen like black black on black. That's pretty bad. Uh Firebench as soon as you send me a thousand bits, I'll be happy to do a mummy thrower for you. But um as uh, rainy day tomorrow said it does sound pretty miserable. <laughs> I mean, I could win it, but at what cost? At what cost to my sanity? Sorry. Okay, hey, Ador, thank you very much, by the way, for the heads up. That's really much appreciated, because I would never have found that out on my own. That's that's $10. And I think it's a reasonable price, considering a, a mummy thrower would probably take me like eight hours to win. And it would not really be something I would be super inclined to play on my own, you know? Okay, so I've just been running around here trying to kill this Hydra. Sort of obnoxious that um, he's just on layer one next to the staircase. Haggerty <laughs> sacks on repeat. I used to do that in high school, actually. We had, a, we had like a food place across the street from the high school. Um, we would, it was back in the day when you, you know, before, before Columbine, or rather, not, not actually before, well, no, it wasn't before Columbine. It was uh, not, not uh, far enough away from it, I guess, that uh, they, they started locking school to schools down and stuff. So you could actually leave high school for lunch. And I did the exact same thing to a jukebox in there. What do I use to edit my videos? Um, FFmpeg on the command line usually if I'm just cutting things up. Uh, sometimes I use, um, if I'm doing something more complicated, I use Blender. Blender VSE. I used to use um, OpenShot, but I found it to be kind of a horrible piece of shit for if I wanted to do anything particularly complicated. Like I wanted to fast forward at one point and it just broke in these sort of hilarious ways. Okay, he is six heads. Uh, we have 105 hit points. So technically, let's think about this. It's not 20 damage per head like I always say. It's actually 18. I always overestimate. Um, so he, he doesn't do 120 damage. He does 120 um, minus 12. So that's uh, what was this? 108. So he could still one-shot us, but not, not really. <laughs> I mean, he'd have to... Um, You'd have to get real damn lucky. I could use wands for this. Wand of acid. I've just been like trying to talk and fight this guy at the same time is why this is taking a little while. If I could get a mammal to live like one turn against him, or um, have my hexer slow his ass down, that would be the ideal. He's trying. He's trying to make it happen for me. Okay, he ended up next to me. That sucks. I have not messed with shot cut. Fire bench. Um, gosh, what should I... <laughs> I just need to like 
I really just just need to get away from them, you know what I mean? You know what we could do is we could go Lignify. Lignify is surprisingly good versus Hydras. We, we could Lignify and then just Vamp touch them to death. Well, the pillar, the pillar could make the situation better if if he got random energy of the bad sort against me. Um, he slows down. I put... Oh, so here was the plan. This is the plan that uh, obviously didn't work. Put a Mammal between me and him. He misses enough that I get another t space you know, between me and him. Um, and then at that point, I... Hey, look, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, okay, it worked. Look, this is what I wanted. This is what I was planning for. I was having trouble getting it out of my mouth, but I wanted him to eventually get slowed. All right, we're totally good now. Um, look, look how easily I can create space now. In fact, I'm going to acid him just a couple times. Now we can finish off with pain. There we go. That was the plan. All right. Um, Firebench Darkroom game? I don't know, is that like one of those escape things where you have to click the right thing? I've heard of that sort of genre, I guess. Anyway, this is nice that we finally cleared out um, the entrance way. One of random effects. All right. Somehow, this is kind of wild. I, I don't think I've ever filled up my inventory this fast, but I'm also I'm also carrying an awful big pile of crap. Um, we can drop most of this. Probably, probably the axe. Eh, not the axe. The spear. We'll drop the blowgun. We haven't found Curare. We'll drop the bolts. And I was just picking everything up. Drop the needles. Take the one of random effects. It can actually still be quite useful. But yeah, I mean, the Hexer is fun like that in terms of, you know, you saw how that situation with the Hydra played out. Ah, damn it, a shaft. And a gauntlet. Like, you, you, the thing is, he probably only had like a 5 or 10% chance to slow or confuse the Hydra, but it eventually worked um, because he just kept doing it. And unlike me, he doesn't have a mana score. So he's eventually going to get it done, you know? Magic map. Go into the gauntlet. We're pro probably not going to do the gauntlet. Actually, this is a perfect time to quit. Um, holy shit. Was that what I think it is? The Autumn Katana. You guys, should we use based Japanese steel to win this game? <laughs> is that what we should do? Can I do that? <laughs> okay. All right, a dort. I guess that would be pretty fitting for me. Um, where is it? I don't see it. Hot katana. That's oh, right there. Move. Move, ye spider. Yeah, gauntlets really are greed traps now. It's kind of funny because nine times out of ten, unless your character... I actually did one last game, I think, on the on the Draconian Artificer. But, or maybe the one before that, I don't remember. But, I mean, that was... Uh, I had a lot of power behind me on both, both the last character and the one before it. So, ultimately, it's like a rich get richer kind of thing. And I really hate designs like that in games where it's just like, oh, well, your character's strong, so here's a way to get stronger. Like, screw that. You know, I want a thing that encourages you to, I don't know, may, I mean, you could you could tailor it to the character's level even, 
power level somehow. That'd be kind of hard to set up programmatically because you'd need to have some kind of metric for how strong is this character, which of course is, is never easy because um, it's never as simple as how many hit points do you have, you know? It's like, how many resources do you have? What do you have memorized? What are your skills, you know? Like, what, how do those skills synergize with each other? If it's, you know, how many spells do you, which, which kinds of spells do you have? Which powers do you have? So, I mean, something that basically just rewards you from already being strong is kind of boring to me. And I think the goal is to reward you for taking a risk. But I, I don't think that realistically is what happens here. All right, I'm kind of at a loss as to what the hell's happening. Um, I guess that there are... This is fucking weird. What is, what is, it, what is this now? How is this... Somebody explain this to me. Okay, so I see an entrance here, which presumably takes you here, and then you take this thing, and it warps you here, and then this portal is here, which I presume takes you to the Minotaur. Okay, fine. And then there's a portal here, takes you here, go into this portal here, takes you in here, go into this portal here, takes you here, go into this portal here, takes you to the Minotaur. Okay, fine. Um, hey, Wesley, we're in a gauntlet trying to decide if this is worth doing. What I don't understand is what the hell... Did this get... this? I think that the design, the vault spawned wrong. Um... Because I don't see, it doesn't make a lot of sense, like there's not a way into this top one. Unless this works differently than I thought. I thought the, the transporter pad always was facing in the direction of where you're going. So some, something's, something's a little messed up here. It goes in a U path, are you sure about that? So you're saying, I go here, bloop here, um, I go here, it takes me up takes me up here. I take this thing over here and it takes me here. I mean, maybe. Yeah, the portal's placed in the wrong spot. I mean, this is typical Gamma Funk code, basically, but um, I want to know if I can rely on me going in here, landing here, because I don't, I don't give a shit about, I don't give a shit about any of this. Like, this stuff up here, this is a trap. What I want to do is I want to do this, because um, this if I take the bottom path, all i got to do is kill a... Well, the biggest boss i got to deal with is an Entropy Weaver. I don't care about the shadows. I actually have C Invisible available. Doesn't matter the Scarab will murder you. Well, I don't have to fight a Scarab. The only Scarab is up here. I think I can avoid this stupid thing entirely, as long as this actually leads to the exit. Yeah, I want the Katana, dude. And honestly, the... Will the Scarab murder me? I can't hex him, but I could idealize my ancestor, and he could, eh, he probably wouldn't stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We could, like, box a beast a few times, probably be crappy. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the Scarab will murder me. Well, yeah, well, if we had a, mm, if, if we had, if we, if we had sort of, what is it called, a, a vulnerability scroll. We could enslave it and tell it to walk away. I mean, we've got, uh, we got blinking. We just blink away from it, blink to the portal, leave. We've got immolation. We could blow up our, our uncle here um, next to him and clear that out. So I'm really not worried. But the thing is, I don't have to fight a damn scarab if, if, if this path works how it's supposed to. How much do you value your streak? I value my streak a lot, but... I mean, I'm looking to the long term here. This is an artifact hat, which I'm unlikely to find another one of those. And this is an autumn katana, which is just amazing. Um, we're going to have a very fun game on our hands. It's just a matter of, like, how much am I going to get screwed over, you know? Um, I'm not super worried about the interview weaver. Like, I can enslave this redback is the thing. Um, even just the haste potion is nice. Yeah, that's the thing. That'll pay for itself. And then as far as the Minotaur goes, that could be a problem, but we got Blink, you know? Um, I don't know. I'm going to pop on... Uh, I'm going to pop on Synth. And I, I think we're going to do this. We have 9 Acid. And we're about to level up is the thing. 
Meta will be scary. That's true. Sort. I mean, we can idealize it. If he doesn't have penetration, javelins will probably be okay. Even even if not, we can always like fear him and sort of reset the fight. We got two haste. We got a might. We don't have Agi, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, we don't have Agi. We have a ton of heal wounds, though. Always blink out of the minnow fight. Sort of. He could do an awful lot of damage at range. How much do these guys do? 14. You're not going to get their super big hit on me. What's going on with these potions? I have identifies. Let's let's use them. Haha, <laughs> Dejin, get the hell out of here. Alright, so we got um. Hmm. Cancellation. Okay, so so far so good. This is where this is supposed to lead. I could use some acid preemptively. Do we need acid to beat this stuff? I'm going to wait until they're in a nice line. Just kidding, my ally's in the way. Oh man, come on back, come on back. We're going to idealize. Boom! So now we basically just uh, activated hacks. We heal uh, Mr. RoseCrypto.com, and also he's got this cool little symbol, which kind of looks like a seashell, I guess, at the bottom right. He's in uh, pro mode, so he's just going to mess this dude up. Nice. Pro mode ends. Okay, he dies. That's fine. There's only one shadow left. We can finish it with the hunting sling. Perfect. We're going to wear the hat. Oh, oh, the hat's interesting. Um, death resistance, you say, and yet your RF minus. Certainly we'll remove the curse on it. Golly gee. Um, I don't know if I want to be wearing this damn thing as I walk into the, the fight with the Minotaur. It's honestly an amazing hat outside of the RF minus. Really, really good. Yeah, it's a fire dragon scale item for sure. Great, great idea. But I mean, the Minotaur could have like a flaming, flaming weapon. Um, I tell you though, what we will do is we will go ahead and go in here. Okay, let's idealize. Um, the healing doesn't matter. The Entropy Weaver just messes me up. Do I haste? Can I can I wand of acid him to death fast enough? I'm not taking any chances. We're gonna haste. We're gonna acid. Is he faster than me? Okay, so I'm okay with the red back if he comes next to me. Okay, now I'm annoyed because, well, I wanted to enslave him and help myself out, but that's that's okay, we'll just kill him with pain. So that worked. Um, Roscrypto.com is destroyed, the ghost, not the sight. So you guys, we're, we're like a based samurai ogre now. It's awesome. Screw this products, we got, we got Japanese steel. <laughs> I'm a purveyor of Japanese culture and also an ogre. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Now the real question is, can we can we take this? Uh... Okay, good. So we didn't get dumped into the hell hole up here with the scarab and stuff. We just got to fight the Minotaur now, which is is going to be a fun. Um, challenge in and of itself. We're going to try to do it without using a haste. 
Okay, it's a regular javelin. Idealize. Idealize again. The heal doesn't uh, doesn't work. Buddy boy, he's got an amulet with acrobat, R poise, R C plus, and M R plus. So that's uh, yeah. Heppel is falling short. We're gonna have to use acid on him to take him down. Without using haste might be a bit greedy. I think I agree, although using two haste potions in here is kind of a pain. Uh, let's let's pop on the haste. <laughs> Should have opened with that, I agree. Box of Beasts. Falls apart instantly. Got a little bad luck there. I'd like to be able to help, but you know, it's like this. This is set up in such a way as, you know, this whole zone is set up in a way to really stop you from spamming his ass down with summons. Hmm. Does Immolation work on uh, Box Beast? No, it doesn't because they're temporary summons. Would have worked on my, my guy, but he's... Uh, You know, he's gone for now. Let's acid him. Acid. Regen. Acid. Done. Not bad. So this amulet is insane. Um, certainly better than Faith. I mean, I gotta pop this on. We'll just eat the piety penalty. It's fine. I mean, look look at that thing. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Four things. I mean, three if you don't want to count Acrobat. It's insane. It's so good. <laughs> so stupid almost. Yeah, that did go smoothly. Acid acid does amazing things for you. Yeah, sorry, Wesley. It's, I was really excited. It's too good. It's too amazing. I mean, like, look, I haven't seen an artifact that good this early in the game in a very long time. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> too exciting. Um, well, I'm not actually sorry. Anyway, uh, let's... Identify Potion, Berserk Rage, grab the Staff, Staff of Cold, that's a swap for RC, not that we really need it. Um, leaving behind some consumables back here, but had to choose. <laughs> exactly, Wesley. I say that every day of my life. Let's enchant up the Hunting Sling. No reason not to, since we have a really nice endgame weapon. And we'll leave. Alright, so let's, uh, let's not have the um, biggest balls in the world. And by that I mean let's take this hat off. Running around with RF plus, RF minus rather, is sort of horrifying if you were to see a uh, lindworm or something, or like a, I mean fire dragons can spawn in the lair of the right the right uh, with the right vaults so you just got to be careful and it's really not good to walk around with a minus in any kind of resistance if you can avoid it which is one of the reasons mummies are so fragile all right um do items spawn based on your character like a treasure trove and gauntlet i don't think so i think it just spawns a bunch of crap a bunch of acquirement tier items uh, i don't really know for sure though I know that typically gauntlets are not worth doing, but in this case I just kind of had to do it for my for my based Japanese steel. Let's drop faith. This crypto.com is still trapped in memory. All right, we're gonna train long blades up to twelve. Noob traps or greed traps. I mean, I really have to say that's a big problem. Um, I mean, I, I really do not like the fact that... I just don't think it's good design. It's okay for that kind of thing to exist in the game, I suppose, but there's enough of it already. There shouldn't be too much. Like uh, those Zot Trap Vaults, those are noob slash greed traps. You know, you get, you get memed by them one time, and then you're like, well, I'm never going in here the normal way again. Um because it's just a trap. It's literally a trap. Alright, 
Uh, Potion of Invis, that's nice. Enchant Armor. Let me try this large shield on. We're almost up to 15 shields. Oh yeah, we can cast with that on. Large shield, hell yeah. Alright, let's enchant that guy up. <laughs> so we have a plus 4 large shield now. And we're not even being stopped from casting. So good. And uh, money-wise, we can almost afford these Swamp Dragon Scales, so we're doing quite well. How do you typically deal with slash get around Zot traps, especially at the entrance of Zot? Well, um, ide ideally you... and they're going to patch this, I'm sure, at some point. Ideally a Convoker is alive and you can sort of cheese him by... I mean, you've seen me do it where I, I bring my little friend down to uh, Zot and try to use him. Okay, we can safely do this now. Semi-safely. Could have technically died there, but it wasn't super likely. Um, yeah, I mean, you bring a Convoker down, you summon stuff out, and then and then you just make the level less difficult without having, passing, having to pass over Zot traps. Um, or... You can hit yourself with a Mark Trap. That's really helpful. Weirdly enough, you want to hit a Mark Trap on Zot 5. That's usually an option. Um, or you can, with enough Earth Magic, you can actually, you don't have to be able to cast Shatter right out. You can drink a Brilliance Potion, cast Shatter that way. That's an option. Um, that'll let you break into the lungs and avoid the Zot Traps entirely. And here's one that I've been theory crafting, but have never had to actually do. I want to say that Charm's miscasts can actually mark you. So if you don't have a mark trap, I have to wonder, um, could you maybe be, could you maybe do that? Like let me let me look real fast. Charm's miscast, maybe Hex's miscast. Well, that one is not it. Maybe not. I could have sworn that there was a miscast somewhere that could mark you, but the info bot seems to think no. Because I was thinking you could just like mark yourself over, or you could like try to get miscasts over and over to force a mark. Maybe that's not possible. Usually there's a trap available, so it's kind of a moot point. But if push comes to shove and you can't do any of those things, it depends. I mean, you could of course... If you really had a lot of time on your hands, you could, uh, you know, farm up the experience for Shatter if you wanted to. But let's say you don't want to do that. There's no Mark Traps. You don't have Shatter. Um, you don't have a Convoker alive. Uh, although, if you don't have a Convoker alive, that there's no reason for that. Like, that's all your fault. Um, but let's say all that stuff is just not true. Like, you're, you're not, you can't do it. At that point, I mean, you really are at a... Uh, you either walk over it or you blink over it. That's Those are your two options, basically. You know? Um, or or you kind of stand at the edge a little bit and shout first and pull some of the stuff out of the lungs, but you're not going to get much. I mean... At that point, it's just like, have... Have a big, powerful character that can haste and teleport his way... Can survive long enough to teleport his way out of the lungs, and even that's dangerous, you know, because there could be, like, purple draconians in there which stop you from teleporting hmm. oh gosh finish him with a wand of acid I shouldn't have let him get that hit on me perhaps Will I do a Pakelis run in the future? Um, maybe. That would be kind of a request thing, but that could actually be fun. Um, I have to play an old version. I mean, Pakelis was a really curious... Uh, had a very curious design to him. I didn't hate Pakelis, but I can see why he got removed. Because he kind of made the game just very... very kind of net hacky. I say that as someone who hasn't played NetHack, but it, I assume that's kind of what NetHack is like. You know, very gamey, very farmy. You do you start doing weird things with Pakelis, like hoarding four thousand magic potions.
But, I mean, he was a lot of fun to play. I mean, I will say this about Bacalus. He existed in a version of the game that had one of my favorite items in it, which is the humble rod. You know, rod of clouds, rod of shadows, that kind of thing. I may bring those back. Those were fun items. I mean, I feel like they were only taken out, um, you know, to, to simplify the item situation. When they could have just added sacks to the game. So walk backwards and let our guy confuse this. You know, as he levels up, what's, uh, well, I, I lost piety from taking off the faith, so I can't idealize him. I was going to say, as he levels up, or rather as I level up, his spell power gets stronger. Um, I probably should not have done this. Let's, uh, Come on, kick in, confused, there we go. Good, 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 he killed himself. Sometimes hiders do that when they're confused. I had forgotten about that. All right, I've played way longer than I intended to. I think this is an excellent stopping point, just kind of in the middle of lair. Character is super strong. Um, we've been training long blades. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Um, we're just gonna be a cool sword and board guy supporting himself with necromancy. Um, this is going to be kind of a different, kind of, kind of a um, step away from the characters we've been playing before, just like really straightforward, go-zag, statue form, you know, like rote sort of characters that are very straightforward from point A to B to C. Um, and instead we're, we're doing, um, you know, something perhaps a little more interesting, at least it's, it's a little different um, with, our, with our Heppel bro, <laughs> you know, and... Uh, honorable katana combat so um yeah i think that's going to be it oh i have a question is it possible to totally disable a character using rue to the point they can't do anything i mean you can get all the sacrifices but your character's still going to be playable just kind of gimped um like a little bit uh a little bit messed up i mean but it's not like he couldn't attack things and kill them you know, you could still win the game. In fact, there's an achievement uh, in tournaments, I think, a banner for doing that, for taking all the sacks. Yeah, Edward, that's going to be the first thing I do uh, when I get off after uh, maybe making some food. Thank you again for letting me know. Um, but yeah, uh, in in uh, in the end, we got a character. We got a good character here. Ogre of Heppel, Ogre Necromancer, perhaps less of a Necromancer and more of a Swordsman now. Uh, maybe next time we'll win. Uh, but until then... I'm signing out. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rosecrypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.